What's going on everyone? This is Zach with Strictly Shisha. And I'm Samir, nice to meet you guys. And we are sorry for the wait. That's behalf of Starbuzz. Starbuzz has finally released their vintage line, the long-awaited special vintage line. Uh, the vintage line is a dark leaf tobacco, which is very different from what Starbuzz usually produces. From what I remember being told or reading somewhere, I wasn't able to find that article again, but this is a mixture of three different uh, dark leaf tobaccos. I believe they're burly leaves. So this is gonna have a little bit of a kick to it. It does. And uh, Samir, I want you to look at this container. What's your first impression of this container? I like the, really like the wooden look to it. Right, it's got that wood grain. Yeah, it's not actually wood, it's actually plastic, but it's still a very nice container. Honestly, after I'd, we would, I would use this tobacco, I'd probably use it and put like random stuff in there. What would you put in there? Pencils, pens, you know. Yeah, or protein. <laughs> protein. Yeah, but it's actually a very nice container. Starbucks obviously spent a lot of time just thinking about this container. And I like that it's not wood. A wood would probably absorb some of the juices and stuff. Exactly. This is plastic. It's very actually functional. It screws on there tight, gets it air sealed. I emptied it out of the uh, double sealed vacuum bags and dumped it straight in here. So, how's that tobacco look? It's a dark leaf tobacco, like he was saying. And it's finely chopped. You know, you got your stems in there, but you know, that adds to the flavor. And with the smell, it smells actually really good. It doesn't smell like your typical um, double apple. It smells like more refreshing apple with some spice scents at the end of it. Are we smoking double apple? It says we're smoking Indian spiced apple. Indian like you? Indian like me, not like you though. No, I'm Arab, Indian maybe a little bit. So let me smell. Yeah, you can Okay, go so the cut on this, like Samir said, it's finely chopped, uh, dark in color. It's not overly juicy, so even though this is a 200 gram container, and from what I know, uh, that's all they have out right now. I'm sure they're going to be releasing uh, other quantities. But with 200 grams, you're getting a lot of actual tobacco in this. There's not just a puddle of juice taking up weight, so it's a pretty good ratio of tobacco. But one thing I really noticed about this when packing it, and Samir actually packed this bowl, when I packed some trials of this, I noticed that the tobacco was very crunchy. Almost like a brittle feeling. That's like a nice texture to it. It's, yeah, it's very different. And um, honestly, when I was packing it in here, how'd you pack this? I packed it semi-dense. Semi-dense? I felt like a semi-dense kind of really truly met the type of the like, texture of this tobacco. It didn't want to be pushed down too hard because it was so crunchy. So semi-dense worked really well and we're getting really good flavor from this. Oh yeah, definitely. And the smell that I'm getting from this, let's see. The initial smell, I'm getting a nice cold, like crisp, almost like a sour green apple in this. I'm not getting much uh, licorice or anise at all in this. I'm getting a little bit of spice in the background. And Indian um, spiced apple. Uh, the Indian spice also is referred to as masala. And that's kind of like a blend of spices that we use in cooking and things like that. So this is probably gonna hit home. And let's see how this translates to the smoke. All right, well we're smoking out of Starbucks hookah today to do a tribute to Starbucks. Wait, Starbucks hookah? Yeah. Starbucks tobacco? Exactly, and Starbucks hose. Oh, look at that, we just need a Starbucks bowl. <laughs> just kidding, we're rocking the good fellow. So Samir, you said you packed this a um, semi-dense. We're using um, two probably titaniums, one dashini. Someone mixed them all in one container, so we don't know what's what. But it looks like two, uh, two titaniums and one dashini, and it's performing very well. Samir was asking me in my uh, trials of testing, did I get any sort of throat hit? Was it ticklish at all? And no, it's a very smooth draw, right? Yeah, it's very smooth. Um, very, when very I first smooth. started taking a couple hits, at the, like the end of the hit, I get a little tickle in my throat. That could be from the spices or you know just me personally. But um, that was like the first three yeah, hits. Yeah, but after smoking it for like what 10 15 minutes now It's a very very smooth flavor and not getting too much of a tobacco note in there either What do you get from the taste from the taste? I'm getting a nice Cool apple actually now before when you first start smoking you get a nice double apple very strong It has a lot of buzz to it surprisingly and um, It's a cool apple with some hints of spices at the end of it like cardamom or um, what other spices in there? I only could kind of pinpoint cardamom. Um, the blend is very, it's a very, I don't know, my new blend. I can't really pick out the actual blend of spices, but you can tell that there's some spice on the background. So my experience with this, um, Samir mentioned uh, the beginning of the session was a little bit different as we are getting now. The beginning of the session, I was getting a really, really strong, like anise double apple, a very traditional double apple. Samir said it reminded you of um, Nakhla or Alfaka. Nakhla or Alfaka. More Alfaka, right? Yeah, the first double apples I've ever smoked. Yeah, so the initial like first taste of this was more of a double apple. But as it's warmed up and really got into that prime peak of it, it's more of a green apple for me. And as I rotated the coals in the first few minutes, 
it was really cold and I wasn't expecting that. Exactly. It's very cold, doesn't smoke warm, and I'm getting just a nice crisp like green apple, very little licorice in there, and a spice blend on the background. And the spice blend for me is not overly spicy, it's just a little bit in there to complement the yeah. kind of, I guess, the masala Indian spice to this. Like it's if you ever nice. smoked Carnival Nights by Hayes, that's like kind of what you get in the back end of this. Yeah, but it's a really good blend and I like the marrying of the flavors in this, the coolness, the, the double apple-ish, the green apple and the spice blend. It's really a well blended tobacco. Exactly. I think when I first saw this, it was going to be like a pond and an apple put together, but it's definitely not that. No, it's not like a pond spice or a floral at all. It's more just a, just a little bit of spice to complement the end of it. So what do you think about, do you notice any sort of dark leaf difference in this compared to the traditional um, Starbuzz line? Compared to the traditional Starbuzz line, this is definitely a step above it if you ask me. Um, you're definitely getting a lot more of that tobacco note in it, but it's not like overpowering. It's not like Tangier's. Things like that, those are very hard on tobacco. Yeah. This is very so get, smooth. Yeah, you get a lot of tobacco notes from other brands, for example, like Tangier's. You can really taste the complement of the tobacco notes in there, along with the flavors that they're portraying. Now, my experience is a little bit different than Samir's. He can taste those tobacco notes. I've smoked a lot of dark leaf, and I actually don't taste as much tobacco notes in this. That's also because the flavoring on this is very strong. Mm -hmm. And this particular flavor from the other Starbuzz Vintage ones, this is definitely a bold, smooth flavor. Tiramisu was a little more on the mild end, and that really let the tobacco notes shine. With this, I see it as masking the tobacco notes, and you're just getting a smooth, bold, rich flavor from this. Exactly, which is really good. I think the quality on this is very, very good. I'm not getting any sort of heat sensitivity. Um, as a lot of other reviewers have said, and John and even Jake from Starbuzz, pack it however you want. I fluffed it. Today, Samir did a medium mm -hmm. dense, and it's performing either way. And you said, did you get a buzz from this? Yes. Uh, first, when I took like the first like five, 10 hits, um, definitely a strong buzz. I was a little like, you know, haven't felt that in a while. Yeah. But uh, it was definitely really pleasant. It's a really pleasant smoke. You're not like gonna be like on the floor like with ugly tobacco. Yeah, ugly has me on the floor and I've been smoking a lot of ugly. So I actually didn't get a buzz from this at all. But I'm typically very sensitive to buzz and I personally didn't get a buzz, Samir did. So that's just to show you uh, different smokers will take away different things from this flavor as well as the buzz from this. But I just thought it was a really enjoyable smoke. Yeah, it's actually really good. I'm not too big of a fan of double apple, but you know, this one really hits home with me. And I'm definitely not a double apple fan at all, but Samir likes it a little more than I do. He appreciates those flavors, so I, that's why I brought him along to give you a different perspective on this flavor. And as you can see, two different smokers, the same bowl, and we have a very different opinion on this. But overall, we think it's pretty good, right? Pretty good, yeah, love it. So based off my trials uh, with this flavor, I've noticed that the flavor longevity is super long. I mean, I get great flavors throughout the duration of my session even into the second round of coals, which I typically don't go on the Goodfellow Bowl, but you have the ability to do this with this flavor. And overall, I mean, it's just fantastic. Everything I like about this vintage line, I think the weight was worth it. I think the hype was worth it for this particular flavor, even coming from a perspective of someone who doesn't appreciate flavors like this. Cool? Cool. You like it? It's a really good flavor. Definitely pick some up. Yeah, definitely pick it up. Like I said, it comes in 200, 200 gram increments, which is kind of odd, I know. But I'm sure most of your uh, favorite vendors will carry it. So check out your favorite vendor. I know um, I'm probably gonna get some more from Five Star. I know John sells it. You can get it from shopstarbuzz.com. But thank you guys very much for watching and supporting us. This is Zach. And Samira. You guys have a wonderful night. <laughs>